Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Taurus, this is your weekly check-in. Again, guys, these are just general readings. If you're interested in a um, private reading, um, the information for that is down below in the description. There's a link to my website as well as a link to Facebook and Instagram where you can go ahead and look at the daily messages. Um, so, Taurus, there is this... Um, someone is coming in very strong towards your energy um or maybe you're going very strong towards someone's energy um this definitely um again even though they're general sometimes they lean towards one thing or another one this reading specifically is leaning more towards love somebody um feels that they are in heaven when they're with you right um whether it is whether they're with you intimately or when they're just around your presence when they're spending time with you um this person feels like they need to kind of rush in right um they, they're, they're showing me um, it's, it's actually quite fascinating because it, it kind of looks like a dragon. Um, I, I don't know much about dragons and I'm being completely honest, but it's this, this, um, this this kind of dragon right um that is kind of like flying in right and, and it's like they're rushing in and, and, and it's weird because again i really and it's like the dragon but it's like it kind of has like an ego face which is kind of weird right it's like the body of a dragon with an ego face if anybody knows anything about mythology or anything like that and is have know anything about that let me know please because i'm quite interested um but it's kind of like you know like with the ego where it's kind of like he he's kind of like hovering around like looking right looking for his prayer looking for the, the next thing and they have um put their attention or their focus on you so this individual has um definitely put their attention and their focus on you and they're coming in they're coming in very strong there's something about their energy that kind of just wraps around you right or about your energy that kind of just wraps around them that kind of is, is, is almost like an infatuation right so you have to be very careful right that this person is not trying to run away from something not trying to run away from a current commitment or not trying to run away from a heartbreak or something like that so just kind of keep that in mind because the way this person is rushing in is like yes they see you they see the beauty of you they see everything of you right um they see taurus they they taurus is what they want but just be careful that this person if they have recently be, been in a relationship like they're coming out of a relationship make sure that they have healed and gone through the process before you yourself rush in into a connection with them because there is some type of um there's there's something that is hidden right um within their energy and, and that can just be that this person again um may easily get infatuated with people um either just by by the energy that they sense around them or just because of someone new or something new um so just kind of keep that in mind um, I mean, for everybody, it's going to be different, but for some of you, there's definitely that energy of like somebody like rushing in, but it's also like they're running towards something by running away from something at the same time. Um, you're being asked to kind of refocus like all of your energy back to what it is that you started. Um, this is something that you either started a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, but you're being told that, um, there is this kind of a little bit of a sense energy of like starting to slack off on, on a project, starting to slack off on something, right? Are you slacking off on on your spiritual work, on your spiritual growth? Are you starting to slack off on at work? Are you starting to slack off at home? Are you slacking off, you know, with projects or something like that? So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, do whatever it takes during this week to stay as grounded as possible. Um, again, I do feel that this person, as as they're coming in, as they're chasing you, right? Um, they're going to be a major distraction. So you kind of have to set certain boundaries and not allow yourself to get pulled um, away so much from what is at hand, right? What is at the present moment? Um, there is this sense of some of you definitely want to jump into something new with this individual or um, you're going to be intrigued to do so again because it's, it is a fresh energy or something new and there's nothing wrong with that. But again, it's like, do not allow yourself to be consumed by this individual. Do not allow yourself to be consumed by this person's energy is what's really um, coming through very strong for you guys. Because again, it's like, 
they're coming in very forcefully and again if this is not in regards to love um this can just be anybody that is coming in um this can be somebody that is coming in to talk about their problems right um or somebody that is um trying to um figure something out in their life right and they're coming to you for advice but it's like they have so much um baggage right they have so much drama so much chaos going in their life that if you're not aware of it you start to internalize some of this person's issues or some of this person's drama or chaos around their life so just kind of be very careful with your energy how it is that you're spreading yourself um this week and who it is or what it is that you are um intentionally giving to and make sure that you're not giving more than what you can actually give um so just kind of be aware of that energy for this week um Tauruses. So let's go ahead and see um we are using the witch's tarot i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pull out three cards <clears throat> yeah so we have the five of cups energy and these are all in the upright position we have the two of swords and then the, the three of pentacles there's definitely this this energy with the five of cups like again this this may be a repeating pattern for you when it comes to um giving too much of yourself right um or kind of leaving behind what it is that you are doing or kind of removing your focus on your own things right your own dreams it's like putting putting your putting your life and putting your your dreams on hold to help someone else right and then at the end of the day you're kind of like in this energy like damn i i should have only offered this much of myself or i should have only offered this much help and then you're kind of sitting there like torn between yourself because again you want to help others but then at what cost are you doing that are you doing that at the cost of your own dreams are you doing that at the cost of your own happiness if you know that you're not in a position to help anyone at the moment then even giving them an advice or guiding them towards someone that can help them is actually helping them. Um, even if you yourself cannot take on the, the task of whatever it is that this person is going through. So there's definitely this energy of, again, someone rushing in is either somebody's rushing in to offer you like love. Somebody wants to, um, be with you, right. Or someone is coming in to kind of like, um, literally just unload all of the crap in their life onto you because maybe this is something that you've done in the past, right? Maybe you've helped this person in the past with their issues and things like that. But it always comes at a cost to you. It always comes at a cost that you then start to feel unbalanced. You yourself then start to feel like your your life is spiraling out of control. So there's definitely discernment that needs to be used this week when dealing with individuals or when dealing with this individual um in particular. Um, Taurus says that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, guys, thank you for all the love and support. Thanks to all of those that have been donating to the channel as well as subscribing, liking, and sharing the context. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.